Hello from Shraddha from Love Bites. Making your own granola at home. It's a vegan recipe, super healthy and nutritious. You can definitely take honey if you don't have maple syrup. So then it won't be vegan, but it'll still be a very good granola. The main component in this is oats. Oats, as you know, is really rich in uh, antioxidants and very satiating. And it's got seeds, pumpkin seeds. It's got uh, raisins, cranberries, and uh, it has, what else does it have? Coconut flakes, coconut oil. Coconut oil is one of the superfoods now. You must have it regularly. So it's a good oil to add to your granola because it will help you with lowering bad cholesterol and giving your good cholesterol a boost. So overall a very easy recipe. You can make it in big batches and store them well or just make enough to last you a few days and make a fresh one again. That's what I do personally. So give it a try. Do like, do subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much. Let's make a healthy vegan granola. Take some cold pressed coconut oil. I'm just warming it really slightly. Maple syrup. So if you don't have maple syrup, you can take uh, honey also, but then obviously it won't be a vegan. Just warm it, don't heat it up so that it mixes well together. I'm just keeping it on the side. Oats, shredded coconut, in seeds, nuts of your choice. I've taken hazelnuts because I adore them. Salt, bit of cinnamon powder. Just mix it well. We take the coconut oil and the maple syrup and we just add that. Now just mix this. Mix this to combine. Taste it now. You'll also be adding some cranberries and raisins to it. But if you feel the sweetness is less for you, you can definitely add some more maple syrup to it. Take a baking dish or baking sheet, add a parchment or silk pad and just put your granola here. Spread it evenly. We're going to keep it in there for half an hour to 45 minutes. Mixing it every 15 minutes, but please do it according to your ovens. It might get done earlier. You don't want it getting burnt. It should start looking a bit golden and crunchy. So preheat your ovens to 150 and just keep it inside. Make sure you mix it every 15 minutes. Let's check. Yes, it's done. Let's take it out. It's been half an hour in my oven. So let it just cool a little, not totally. And then we'll add the cranberry and raisins. I don't want to do it now because then they swell up too much. Just a little cooling, let it get done. It's come out really well. See the color? It's gorgeous. Little more and it would have got burnt for sure. It's cooled a bit, not totally. Now let's add in our cranberries and some raisins. Just mix it through and once it's totally cool, keep it in an airtight container and enjoy it. So do give this a try. It's fairly simple. It's way better than buying granola from outside. Try and make it at home. At least you have full control on the ingredients used. Thank you.